Um, a cheap shot. I should have expected that. A fist better than a blade. Indeed. I'll survive a sword jaw. This grove has bigger problems right now. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. I need a healer. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. Fighters is what you need to be. Thank you again for your help out there. If you'll excuse me, I'd best get my people moving. Trick, my friend. Magic. Be that as it may. Ceramorphosis. What does it make you think of? The worm? Spot on. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Need to go on? I've got the picture. My point is this. Our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Any expert will agree this is abnormal. A small victory. I'll toast to that. The pragmatic in me, however, sees only the silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. Something the matter. Secrets. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. All right. I'd join you, but things are looking a tad crowded. You'll need to make room for me. Wonderful. Hells! We can't just leave! They're kin! I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. The weak perish. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. Go on. Give me a best shot. <laughs> Not bad. Again. You? Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. 
Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. He has great skills. Learn. Hmm. <laughs> You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. We're forming a party. Better friends than the ones hitching a ride in our skulls, at least. I'm sure you know the stories. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. They say there's no coming back. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli, a devil's advocate, a champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. A tough bounty. I'm no stranger to the Infernal. Better to slay a devil before her fires burn common folk to ash. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I have no time for the devil. I'd love to join, but I don't think there's enough space for me to squeeze in. We'll speak later. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. <laughs> I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. Together victory. Thanks. I prefer when they smile. Ah, my grizzled friend. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Mradrashem, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. Magrin, give him a chance. You, get back. I did save you all. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. Do my eyes deceive me? A Dwegar! Here. Forgive my surprise. It's rare to find your kind above ground. Rare and intriguing on a day already packed with intrigue. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, but remember nothing useful about goblin social order or behavior. They may have been gods. Ye gods! Can it be? How terribly compelling! 
And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Witness mistook obvious silver dragon for brass. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the Absolute when they fell upon the gates? It was horrible. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. What if the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. Realize you were frightened of... Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. In prison? She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. A viper is a totem. That's troublesome. <laughs> a gathered herd of the devils would indeed be disruptive. It is as you say. Sifisif, Tila to me. <laughs> Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin will- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Teela pierce it. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? A grey dwarf. In our grove on this day. A sign. Or rather, a gift. Who better to understand a watchful broodmother than one who hails from below? Maybe a lapse in judgment. And yet you petitioned on the thief's behalf. A curious display of mercy. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. Is it not her nature to strike at invaders? I took back the idol of Sylvanus. And the rite has resumed. We will seal the grove. Free from harm. Free of intruders. A strategy to defend is a strategy to lose. I am first druid now. I protect the circle, whatever the cost. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. We will speak. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. I see you. Just give me a moment. This may be Catrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what? A grey dwarf. Never thought I'd meet a decent one. But I heard what you did at the gates. 
You need something. A healer. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. I have a tadpole. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? Is there any other? That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Seems like an epidemic. Rather too common as of late. At least that's what Master Halson suspected. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. You're the healer. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? I can see the infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. Kidnapped. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. The wand isn't the cure? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? In your trust, I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but... Thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flares out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Is there a cure? You can't cure what you don't understand. And as much as I know about mind flares, I can't make heads nor tails of this. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. And the others? Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. Is he strong? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. 
How's that sound? Halson it is. Thank you. It would mean everything to the groom. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. You must decide. Doesn't even matter if you kill me. I'm chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Here it comes, you little beast. No sign of the others yet. Do you think the fight up front went bad? Shut it! Boss is with you for talking that way. Hurry. It's right. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps? The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that, love, was that. <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. 
You seem like the cat. Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. Of course, what I have to say merits some privacy, as well as some more, let's call it, refinement. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There. Middle of somewhere. Somewhere where? The house of hope. Where the tired come to rest, and the famished come to feed, lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Quite the theater. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. There's always a price. Oh, a mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? A rhetorical question, of course, but let me venture an answer. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. I have what you want. Take all the time you need, but make up your mind before you're counting down with tentacles. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. You'll come to me. <laughs> I've always wondered what a laughing mind flayer sounds like. All those pretty little symptoms Sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. People up ahead, something's wrong. I can't stop the bleeding, Bray. Press the wound. Not like that. Stare and take the high ground. I am enjoying our walks together. I, Aren't you? I don't Damn. know. Better be cautious. Um, sure. In silence. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows, marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Your friend is her? An oil bear. Please, do you have any- Shut up, Andrik. Do you serve the Absolute? Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Your minds intertwine, 
You see his siblings, Andrik and Brynna, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. I was sent to find Halson. I don't know any druids. I am no true soul. What? What are you doing? Your sword, brother! Now! I'm just waiting. Take him out, Asterion. Hit him with the missiles. Here it comes. You should search that corpse. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value, something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. I am my own person. No use. Compulsion takes over. Your actions are no longer 